What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are doing another McFarlane Toys from the DC Multiverse line of the Zack Snyder's Justice League, Ben Affleck's Batman. And I'm very excited for this. I really loved Ben Affleck's portrayal as Batman. And I really loved him especially in the uh, Justice League directed by Zack Snyder. So I hope you guys are ready for this review. Let's get Batman out of the box and take a closer look. And here we have the Batfleck out of the packaging. And he looks cool. I'm really impressed. Uh, my only complaint about the figure is it's almost like one of his legs are bigger than the other. Um, so I'm having a hard time uh, straightening them out. I don't know really like how to fix that. Uh, I don't know if I have to take out the leg completely and then I don't know. But like literally without the stand, he probably wouldn't stand. Um, you know, so that's a little frustrating. I guess you can have his cape help him. But uh, that's a little frustrating. But other than that, like, I mean, sculpting-wise, it's great. But that's, like, one of the complaints I do have with some of these DC Multiverse figures is sometimes their joints are a little messed up. Like, my dark side, like, his foot's, like, stuck. Um, and that's why a lot of them, I don't really go over the articulation because sometimes I feel like they're kind of uh, fragile in the articulation portion. So, you know, uh, we like to go over the detail here and just, you know, focus on the things we really like. Um, but anyway, yeah, it comes with the stand. Uh, it comes with the trading card. I don't actually have it out right now, but that's what the trading card would be. Um, and, you know, I like that they come with these stands because of the fact that I feel like sometimes they have standing issues. So it's nice. But as you can see, like, he's on the stand and he's kind of crooked because this one leg just seems to be slanted or what. I don't know. Like I said, it's not the biggest deal. You could probably fix the pose and make him a little bit more dynamic or whatever. Um, and he also comes with his... Well, I dropped it. He also comes with his bat and rang, uh, and it looks cool. Uh, it looks really, really cool. I like that. It's a nice thing that he has. I like that. Um, I like the version I got with the sunglasses on. I think it looks really nice. There is, I think there's a version without sunglasses, and there's also a maskless version. Um, I think some of the face sculpts on some of the uh, maskless characters don't really look like the actor, uh, so I'm probably going to keep this as my uh, DCEU Batman. Uh, I think, like, right now, you can see it looks like Batfleck. The armor is really nice. I really love, you know, this is, like, from the final uh, battle in the Justice League. So, this is really nice armor. I really like the cape as well. I think, like, I know it's kind of weird, but I really like this. And then it looks really nice where it attaches to the cowl. Uh, I like his, um, his gauntlets look really good. You know, I like that it's a kind of a combination. It almost looks like metal uh, on top of his suit. Uh, same thing goes on through the uh, the legs and the feet. Uh, it's all around just really cool. Does he have anything on the back? No, the back's all plain. Uh, but the cape is really nice. I like it. That, that's what it looks like. It looks exactly like the cape from the movie. Even from Batman v Superman, there's always like this like certain texture that this suit has always had. That just looks so neat. Uh, I am really happy with it. Like I I, I like Ben Affleck's portrayal of Batman a lot. My favorite Batman is probably Christian Bale. Uh, that's basically the one like you know I grew up with at this point. Uh, but I really like Bat Ben Affleck's portrayal every time I've seen him from Batman v Superman to Suicide Squad to both versions of Justice League. I've always really enjoyed him a lot. Um, and I'm happy that he's going to be back in the Flash movie. And I would like to see him continue to go. One of my things that I wish we could have got was a solo Ben Affleck Batman movie because I do think he plays the character so well and I think it looks really good. So I would like to see more of him. Uh, but let's get some other Justice League characters and see how he looks amongst other members. We have Cyborg and the Aquaman, and as you can see, they all look really good. I don't, I actually wonder, I don't know for sure, but I, I maybe, uh, maybe Ben Affleck is shorter amongst Cyborg and Aquaman. I, I feel like, yeah, it probably makes sense with Aquaman, but I don't know if, if Cyborg's that much taller. But, I mean, he's part Cyborg, so yeah, let's go with it. But all in all, I think they look really cool together. Uh, I really like this figure. Like I said, some of, some of the articulation and some of the joints are kind of are stiff with these figures, but I don't really let that bother me too much. All in all, like I said, I really like the Ben Affleck Batman. I like that I have a a uh, piece to represent him in my collection now. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And as always, you can always go back and check out some of my other content go to my playlist where i have a whole variety of different stuff that i cover on this channel and as always i will catch you guys in the next video bye